Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. How you can improve your life in eight simple steps. Now, the goal for every coach, consultant, or small business owner out there is to actually be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and how does that come aboard you really want to make sure that you feel well you show up and you are there consistently now that takes a tremendous amount of energy and an amount of motivation each and every day to show up just like maybe what i do sit down and record a podcast and um you know, having looked at yesterday's download numbers, there was not that many, but it doesn't stop me uh, for me to actually create content that's going to help you be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I think it was Aristotle that um, is attributed to this quote that says, to be excellent, we simply, um, we cannot simply think or feel excellent. We must act excellently. Now, what does that mean? What does that actually mean in the grand scheme of things? You might be thinking to myself, nah, I don't need to be listening to this podcast. I need to go and learn how to tweak my website or see and read the latest Google update. Or I'm going to have to start selling whatever offer I have to my buyers or I have to go out and create trust and credibility with my audience or I have to go out there and create a successful business what what does that have to do with my physical well-being or my aptitude or how i actually act excellently well let me tell you something man if you want a business that has zero stress you can't do well if you do not feel well what you eat who you speak to uh, your vision, your mission, the team you have around you, the daily uh, activities that we do, how we feel throughout that whole day, how we show up, what we, did I mention what we eat and, 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 and who we hang around with, all of those things um, would obviously affect how you can actually reach out to an audience um, that will be willing to pay you and stay and actually refer you to uh, people that they know already or people that are in their circles. Now, like I mentioned, if you really want to be excellent, don't just simply think or feel excellent, you know, like, you know, the, the whole mantras or motivation that's out there. You really got to act excellently now for you to improve your life and your well-being this isn't something that just happens through hopes and flukes you know what i mean it happens through tenacity and consistency and the worst part about um this is you can't just go and get a fitness trainer or a mindset coach and then get them to read all the books or the fitness trainer to do all all the sit-ups and then you get the abs my friend, your success, your happiness and dreams will happen through the quality of your own actions and an abundance mindset. So with these uh, seven or eight steps that I'm going to be elaborating in this podcast, if you start acting on them, you will actually begin to construct and see an improved version of yourself. Because right now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I just don't need um, yet another mindset or I don't need yet another uh, physical podcast, you know? Because if you would notice right now, you are probably up to your neck with the latest social media craze. You know, somebody might have just posted something and you're like, oh my God, I got to have that in my business. Or you have some clients who frankly don't actually pay you well, okay? Or don't pay you at all. 
oh, you know, you, you, you know, if you want to take two months off of your business, um, you wouldn't have a business to come back to. That has got nothing to do with tweeting your web, tweaking your website. That has got nothing to do with the social media posts that you put out there. It has got a lot to do with your own happiness and your abundance mindset. Okay, so none of these things that we all want—the freedom, the money, uh, the time—you know, the businesses that are profitable and enjoyable—they won't happen if you haven't established a vision. Okay, because you can't hit a target that you cannot see. All right, so this is 2022, and I don't know what year you're listening to this podcast on. Um, I've just put out, um, you know, um, our vision for the next year. Okay, it's actually 2021, and I've put out the vision for 2022. And obviously, our main mission is to help coaches and consultants. Um, and other small business owners to actually reach a global audience. But for us to help them reach a global audience, we also have to have a global footprint. So my mission now is to make and establish Live Long Digital to be a global small business. Now, guess what? The global arena is open 24-7. If I'm not feeling well, if I'm not doing well, and if I'm not showing up for the people that I want to reach out to, do you think they will be able to uh, spare a moment to listen to me? Uh, you know, if I've got nothing to show for them. Remember, people have an attention span of only three seconds. If your energy is not grabbing them by the neck within the first three seconds, hey, you've wasted either your time, money, and effort trying to reach out to these people um, that are not going to care anything about what you're going to say or what it is that you're going to do. So this is the reason why you really need to establish a vision. And the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. And that was Helen Keller who mentioned that because if you you might have eyes but you can't see what it is that um is in front of you you know um, I always laugh when my wife um asks me to go into maybe our bedroom or our kids room and and tells me what to find in there and I can't see it you know why because my reticular activated system is not trained to look for that particular thing I've only been introduced to that concept seconds ago all right. And my brain hasn't computed that uh, what the thing looks like or what it should um, feel like if I'm supposed to feel for anything. And that's the reason why we do not see the success or we do not see the results that we want to have because we are not putting it out there. We are not establishing a vision. Our brains are formulated in such a way that if you give them a bone, they're like a dog. They always be chasing after that bone. So why not cloud your brain with all the visualizations and all the stuff that you absolutely want instead of clouding your brain with knowing what the, the latest dress Kim Kardashian is wearing. All right, so whether you it's, it's a fitness or business or relationship goal, establishing a vision is key. Right now, if I ask you, wherever you are, you might be running or you might be in a room. I want you to look for the color yellow. Just turn around. Just turn around and look for the color yellow. You will notice that the moment I keep repeating the word yellow, everything that you see that has the color yellow will start popping out in front of you just there. So can you imagine if those are your goals, your visions, your missions, and everything else that you're looking to achieve, if you just tell your brain, hey, look for the color yellow. Hey, we're going for $2 million this year. That becomes your color yellow. And your vision now serves as a compass and it prevents you from actually getting lost on a path to your ultimate goal. And your brain will start looking for situations, opportunities, people that will now conspire in order for you to actually achieve that goal. So with this kind of information, if you now know that your brain is actually playing tricks with you, why don't you trick your brain into getting you the stuff that you absolutely need? Because once you set a vision, it actually forces you to be specific about um, whatever it is that you're going after. And once you have it, it now becomes part of your identity and it propels you to action each and every day. You know why? Because now that becomes a reward for you having chased after whatever it is that you're after. So when you're establishing a video, a vision, you really want to set aside time for you to actually do what 
um, I think we did this um, with uh, one of my mentors. It's called a perfect day exercise. And I've, I've, I've actually done it with my wife as well, where I have set her down and then we have established what she wants for her 40th birthday, for her 50th birthday, for her 60th birthday, for up until her 100th birthday. Okay, so you want to ask yourself these questions and give yourself time to actually think through these answers. All right, if I ask you right now, do you know what you want your ideal day to look like? Like from the time you wake up up until the time you go back to bed, what events, activities or, um, you know, stuff do you want to happen each and every day? You know, do you want to be reading? Do you want to be talking to amazing people? Do you want to be working on interesting projects? What is it? How do you want every day to look? And you can plan that. I guarantee you can actually plan that so that you don't have any other outside influences that are annoying you and actually taking away from, you know, your uh, journey to actually create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And how do you want to feel? How do you want to feel each day? Do you want to just wake up not knowing what you're doing, like a wandering generality, or you want to wake up knowing today is going to be the day I actually do three or four things that are going to move me forward uh, towards my ultimate goals? And how, how are you spending these days? How are you going to be spending this day? Are you sitting around watching TV or are you sitting around uh, exercising and talking to people that you absolutely love, eating delicious food and well, having sex or whatever it is that tickles your fancy? And what kind of work are you doing? What, what, what contribution are you putting out there in the world that keeps you wanting to show up? And how do you want people to feel after they've been around you? I know that I always try and make sure that everybody that I come across feels the best. Because when I was growing up, you know, we, I don't know if you, you've uh, uh, seen or heard a bit of my story that um, I grew up in Africa and obviously growing up in Africa, we had, we had nothing, you know, you see, um, I was brought up in a small town in Zimbabwe, okay, just outside Harare in, in Africa and growing up was pretty tough and we didn't have a lot of money and hope and, you know, we were not meant to amount to anything. So we used to have, um, you know, bathrooms. In, in you know at our schools uh, toilets and they the school didn't have money to hire a janitor and the people that would clean those toilets will be us the school kids so there were signs all around the toilet that says leave this place in a better uh, state than you found it that has now become my mantra in everything that i do the people that i touch anything that i come across my social media just about anything I leave it in a better condition than I first found it. And you want to do that with every person that you meet because each person that you're meeting now becomes an ambassador for the work that you're doing out there. And it gives you an opportunity for you to want to show up and really, really help these people be doing have a happier existence. Because you know what? You are now proud of the work that you're putting out there and you're not embarrassed because you have been mean to people or you've, um, you know, showered people with kindness. And you want to keep showing up so that at least you can have two or three people that would uh, tell you each and every day that, hey, because of you, I did not give up. Wouldn't that be nice? So find ways for you to actually commit showing up because let me tell you something, motivation is something that comes and goes, you know, just like the clouds that pass through the days and you, you or, or like the weather, you know what I mean? It's not a dependable resource to propel you into action each and every day. You might listen to Tony Robbins here and there, or you might go and jump on, walk on calls, um, you know, if things are open. But for you to actually develop your talent and upgrade your well-being, you have to show up each and every day, no matter what circumstances come your way. Like, like I show up every single day with this podcast. I show up every day with emails. I show up every day with our blog. I show up every day with our social media just so that I can let people know that I'm dependable and they can trust me in, well into the future um, with their business. I think there's a Japanese proverb that, that reminds us of this, that vision without action is a dream and action without vision is a nightmare. I'm going to repeat that. Vision without action is just a dream and action without vision is just a nightmare. 
Okay, so let your vision serve as your compass, you know, while your actions propel you to become a better version of who you want to become. Show people where you are headed to. And let me tell you something, those that are going with you on the journey will definitely help you uh, be doing have whatever it is that you're looking for. And eventually you now have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So if you look at all these things, none of these things pertain to you being selfish. It's got a lot to do with emotional intelligence and how you show up helping other people by actually helping them. The least that you can do is be an example. You know what? Because people are watching, right? So at the beginning, it's a, it's understandable to start feeling a little apprehensive about the journey and, and, and it is fear. And let me tell you something, fear is normal, but feel the fear, but do it anyway. You know, if, if you take a few steps and, um, you know, start gaining a bit of confidence um, within yourself, whatever risk or whatever, because the only reason why you're afraid is lack of information. So you want to take tiny steps. The more you're confident and you uh, self-affirm to yourself that I am going on the right direction, it now starts creating a few moments of courage. And those are the only requirements. That's all you need. Waking up each and every day, just taking one step further. Do you know what I mean? When you go out and build uh, a building, you don't just wake up and there's a wall. It's brick by brick by brick by brick and soon you have a wall. Okay, so make that call, pitch your idea, ask for that pay rise, you know, reach out to that client, hug someone, post that first video, post that um, podcast, ask that tough question, do that workout, and hey, make a healthy breakfast if that's your thing. That's how remarkability begins. How you do anything is how you do everything. You know what I mean? Sometimes we have days and days of no sales within our business, but I know that every Saturday I go outside in my garden and then I mow the lawn and then I trim the flowers and then I just make our place look good. You know why? Because I'm preparing for when clients show up. I don't want them to feel like, oh my God, if he can't look after his front garden, how is he going to be able to look after our website? So you want to make sure that whatever place that you have around you, small bits of action, everything is all connected because all great achievements start with one small action. What is it that you can do right now to actually spice up your work environment or, you know, just give you that momentum to keep showing up? And if you can't do it yourself, find somebody else that can do it cheaper, better, faster. Do you know what I mean? Because nobody succeeds in this world alone. All right. Everybody else talks about being a self-made millionaire. Blah, right. I call that bull because there was mothers, there was fathers, there were sisters, there were siblings, there was kids who were giving the motivation and momentum along the way. You're not self-made, bro. Because no one succeeds alone in this world. So players have coaches. All right. Um, you know, you as a coach, you are coaching other bigger names out there as well. Singers, they have producers and co-writers. You know, <laughs> it was so funny that I realized that if a lot of comedians don't write their content, they have people behind them that write that content for them. What a revelation. And there I was thinking, how can I be that funny? No, they've got teams of people that are behind them that are writing all those jokes. All they got to do is perform them. So I went on and started getting people that write my content because I can't sit every single day and try and think of something new to write because you get what's called writer's block. But get other people that can do it cheaper, better, faster. People that have that as their go-to thing and let them do what makes them happy. Because if you have support, it allows you to have someone, you know, to be accountable to. And you actually get an unbiased perspective on the development and pursuit of whatever goal that you're after. Because no one gets immunity from, from fear. Because if I don't show up today, you will still get content from us. Because my team is working 24-7 to make sure that that is happening. So on my off days, we I might have doubt or uncertainty um, you know, in, in going after certain things, but we've got emails that are already making sure that our clients are being fed with information, no matter how I feel on that particular day. 
So it's quite pivotal to actually start having a support network around yourself so you can catch yourself whenever you feel like you're beginning to sleep, sleep up. You know, into maybe your old habits or whatever, you're starting to play small. And if ever you think you're starting to play small, give me a call. Because I'm the guy that you call when you're tired of thinking small. All right? So make it a goal today to think of at least three people who can actually provide support to you and accountability in order for you to go on your new journey. Do you notice all of these things that we're talking about? They are about other people. It's about how you relate to these people, how you show up for your clients and how you, how you then get accountability around whatever it is that you're doing. You can't do all of this by yourself. And that's why the topic of this post is how you can actually improve your life. You need other people in order for you to be doing and have a happier existence. And I mentioned fear earlier on. You want to embrace that fear. You want to embrace any pain that comes along the way. You want to embrace adversity. Because on your journey to creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable, there's going to be um, hurdles. There's going to be obstacles. You can't pick and choose the things that you want. All right? I, I, I often refer to it as... When you're wearing an outfit, okay, you've got maybe uh, a watch, you've got jewelry, earrings, you've got uh, uh, cufflinks, you've got a necklace. All of those are accessories to your outfit. You can't just wear a belt and walk out because otherwise they'll have to call people on you. Right. So in order for you to have success, it's a, it's a combination of a lot of things. So what are those successories? All right, little successes that you get along the way, successories, okay? They are the ones that are now going to give you a good story to tell. So whether it's fear or it's pain or whatever adversity, lean into that adversity because that's where your character is born. Because fear is actually a natural part of life and it's actually good in certain times because if we're not afraid we'll just walk into a car that's running or we'll touch fire and we'll burn so fear is nothing more than your body just trying to protect you from killing yourself okay so maybe you're pursuing a, a better version of yourself just acknowledge your fear and tell it thanks but no thanks i got this from here because adversity and, you know, all those little failures that come along the way, they're nothing but just feedback and information for you to use in order for you to proceed along your journey. And it's okay to have butterflies uh, in your tummy when you're doing unfamiliar things. Guess what? That shows you that you're alive. Because the moment you stop feeling butterflies and everything else, you're dead, bro. But remember... All you need is just those 20 seconds of courage and then you take the next leap forward and you grow. Like for real, y'all. And once you start doing that, just keep playing for something bigger than yourself. Don't just wake up and say, I want to make a million dollars. No, why don't you want to make a billion dollars so you can feed all the other hungry kids in Africa? Make it bigger than yourself. And once you have a bigger goal, guess what? The universe will stand out of the way. It will con convince everything, opportunity, uh, people, circumstances, so that it actually works for you. Right now, what, what, what is your goal? What is your actual goal? What, what do you want to be known for? Who do you want to become? Why are we even here? Because I often ask my clients and people are like, oh, yeah, I just want to get more leads. I want to get more clients. Uh, that's how they might re respond. That's great. But that's actually just only scratching the surface, okay? You want to dig deep, you know, right? Into why you want to pursue those goals. Because if you go deeper with your goals and motivation, you'll see that there's a lot more layered than you actually realize. Because we're more than what we, um, you know, allow ourselves to be, do, and become. Because if you tap into this deeper level of who you are, of your motivation, you, you, you can tell I've tapped into that, right? I, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I can hear myself going, you know, like, like a jet. You know, if you tap deep into that motivation um, for, for, for why you want this thing, it actually builds endurance because you feed off of that. It cements the goal in your mind and then in your heart and wow, you're unstoppable, bro. You know, it keeps you on track and then all distractions will just start falling off course. You know why? Because they are not, um, they're not part of where you want to be. And one thing that you should absolutely do is something that I am learning to actually 
um, manage, you know, consistently, which is learning every single day. And that's the reason why I've put myself on a challenge to put out a podcast every single day, because whatever I've learned, I want to, um, you know, I want to apply it in my business. I want to share it. I really want to shout on top of my voice in order for me not to forget it. This is a selfish endeavor. I must say, it is quite selfish of my, of me to be showing up every single day, uh, in this podcast. You know why? Because the moment i start talking about all of these things i'm actually remembering stuff all right so you could do that in your business too you know because when you quit learning you are left far behind so you want to adopt a student mentality and develop a really big 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 growth mindset where you're always becoming better and better and better at your craft and one of the most common traits between successful people that i know is their habit of continuous learning you know oprah reads about eight books a, a month or something uh warren buffett reads for eight hours all right and once you you do that if you're because that then becomes exercise for the mind what are you doing with mental gymnastics what are you doing to keep your mind sharp yes you can go and lift heavy things and and you can find time for daily exercise for your muscles right but what are you doing for your mind what are you doing for your mind it has to stay in the main brain okay um i think it's tony robbins that says motion creates emotion all right it's a it's a the type of exercising doesn't matter as long as there's consistency and you're doing it and, and it becomes a habit, right? So maybe you could read or listen to a podcast like this or an ebook or whatever it is. Just make sure something, you, your, your, your mind is chewing gum. Your mind is being utilized, yeah? Because if you don't use it, you lose it. And that also happens uh, to your health because your health is, 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 um, is like the head of an octopus with all these tentacles. Yeah. You know what I mean? And all, all these are the facets of your life right now, your little toe is pumping blood, but you're not controlling that aspect of your, of your brain. Okay. And without the, the head working well, you know, you, you, you can't do well. You know, the rest of these octopus tentacles are not going to operate and function properly. And then you won't show up and be the best version of who you want to be every single day. So, yeah, I might have said a lot. I might have gone on a tangent or I might have drank too much coffee. Whichever way you want to conclude it, just reflect, acknowledge and appreciate your current accomplishments. Do what you can with what you have and use that as a stepping stone to the next thing. All right, the grass is always greener on the other side. And I always make sure my neighbors envy our grass because I've got the greenest grass in my street. All right, because let me tell you something, man. Ambition is like a double-edged sword. On one end, it motivates us for you to pursue your goals, do all those things that we're doing every single day for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But on the other hand, you never feel good enough or as you go along, you know, every level has its own devils you know if you grew up playing games or if you're still playing games right now you know every level that you go to the things start going faster the monsters eat you quicker you know what i mean so just keep track of what you're doing just try to track your progress on a daily basis i write um you know a daily planner and then i just list a few things that i've done sometimes i've got zero things that i would have thought that i accomplished that day because we always maybe measure ourselves with the highest KPI, which is maybe a sale or uh, talking to a client. And if that doesn't happen, you know, some things have taken place throughout the day. All right. So like I say, it actually allows you when you start journaling to see the daily growth of what's actually working and what's not. And after all, what gets measured actually gets improved, right? So if you start journaling, I think it's one of the best ways to actually manifest success, your health and growth in all facets of your life. So if you start writing a journal, they actually provides you with a lot of clarity over whatever objections you might be uh, going through. And you can actually start improving your mindfulness, your happiness and your self-confidence. And then when you actually write down these things, 
um, and, and look at what you're grateful for and just look at the progress from where you started to where you are now, you know, because you are growing. You definitely are. You know, I measure how I'm growing because I started my business when my little girl was six months old. Now she's almost seven. So what does that mean? My business has been growing. I also have been growing. Add seven more years to the time when I got started. All right. So you want to be looking at you looking at what you can be grateful about each and every day and just teach your brain to look for positive opportunities and shift into an optimist mindset. I guarantee you, you will be doing have a happier existence like no other person. Do you know what I mean? Like I started off the show to say, if you want to be excellent, don't just think and feel excellent. You actually have to start acting about it. And that's why I've mentioned you need to establish your vision. And once you've done that, continuously show up because you are touching other people and other people are watching. And in the process, you know, enroll those people to come along on the journey with you because don't try and do it by yourself. Like I mentioned, success is not done. It's not a one man operation. You know what I mean? And once on your journey there, make sure you're embracing all that pain and diversity. And especially if fear crops up, just look for something bigger than yourself and know that, um, and ask yourself, who am I to not show up, uh, in order for, you know, these people that I'm doing this for, to have this, it, it, it humbles you. It makes you feel very little. And for you to continuously keep giving, you got to learn each and every day. And for you to do well, you got to exercise and, and, and exercise your brain, exercise your body. And every now and again, just reflect, acknowledge and appreciate how far you've come. All right. I really want you to be successful in life. And I know that you've got the, um, means to be doing have a happier existence because you deserve a successful business that's profitable and enjoyable i can't wait to celebrate with you uh on the day that you actually succeed bye for now thank you for joining us today if you have any questions let's continue the conversation in the live long digital community become a live long digital community member today this community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.